Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I don't know totally what this customer is doing with this. Uh, they're trying to create this, and they sent me an email, and they sent me this file, and they're having to individually color in these colors because they're going to take the colors later and, and make some sort of spin wheel with colors getting progressively smaller on the this wheel. And if you just keep changing colors, we'll on your next, so I get that, but they're having to, and so this might not help anybody, but they sent me a file with a hundred inch squares and they're one inch squares because we take them and uh, take the smart fill tool and fill that in and move that out of the way. You can see that the squares are one inch. So they got a, a hundred of them by a hundred. And if you put it in the center of the page and because it's equal, and you put a 60 inch circle, and the reason they're having to do this because they're having to do this with different sizes of circles to try to get in different square patterns, or not square patterns, but different thicknesses. So they're having to paint, uh, painstakingly fill in all the, way, all the way around this circle anything that touches the circle. So every little minute little cavity. So, I mean, this would, this would take some time all the way around. So they asked if there's another way, cause they've got to do like one inch squares, two inch squares, you know, bigger circles, little circles. My way to think about stuff like this, it would be to take the, let's try the intersect tool. And let's nudge it out of the way. Now I've got a 60 inch circle. Now, I don't know if everything has to be perfect, but we're gonna scale this circle down to, with our ratio lock to 59.5. Now we're gonna take our circle and nudge it over that's going to stop our smart field from moving. Now, everything that touch, and we could even go a little closer, evidently. But we're going to get the same pattern as they had. So let's zoom in here a little bit. If you look at the two patterns, let me see if I can break that pattern apart. There we go. Let me move this out of the way. And it's pretty cool what they're doing with intersecting lines, but that's the same. Well, it it's a little bit different, isn't it? This has a thicker part, but if they're, do, if they're wanting to, you know, you could play around with that uh, change of that circle and we could have made it so there it is at the 60. Let's make a, let's make this circle 60.25. Uh, and then nudge it over to our circle. And let's try, we've still got a leak, so it's gonna leak around. I mean, look at that. And if you take away, if you take these colors, away. Now, I don't know if this is going to help them or not, but this way they could uh, do it in half the, or half the time, a lot less than half the time. Tell you what, let's try this. Let's try to grab this and make this one yellow. Whoop. Well, it's a, it's a filled in block. Let me move this one out of the way and let's see how close they are now. I don't want to mess up their artwork. I'm going to move it around. I shouldn't, shouldn't ever move anything on a nudge or everything, but I need it close for the video. And I can always go backwards. That's pretty close. I mean, if they're just trying to get this scenario where they're going to draw these lines and I finally figured out what they're doing here, they're just taking a two point line and going from I didn't do a very good job. I need to be on the node. If they're going opposite, 
it doesn't matter how thick this line is on the right side, they're gonna get the same effect in a, less, a lot less time. Now, when you get going, I just, I've already done one, so I've kind of practiced. When you get going, you'll realize right off the bat that if it's not in the center, when you zoom in, there's, a, there's some lines off. Well, take your shape tool and make them go right to those nodes and then those lines won't be off. As you can see now, they're more in the center. There's still this line right here. You can see it. That's amazing. That little bit off. And then they're all going right through the center. And I think once you, that line right there is still off. You can, I mean, look at that. A minute, little fraction, but it's not going through the center like it is now. So anyway, what I'm saying is they could reproduce two inch squares and do it the next one or have a, well, let's just try it. Let's try, uh, we had a 60 inch circle. Let's do a 80 inch circle. Let's do 85. Hit P. And what's so nice about this the intersect tool does not destroy your work. So now we've got an 85 inch circle. Let's uh, nudge this out of the way so we can use the center of the page. Let's put it in the center. Let's take an 80, 85.0 or 0.1 circle, hit P, grab your magnifying glass, and then grab your Let's still zoom in a little bit more. See, it's just, it's off a minute little hair. Let me look at that. So now you've got a totally different, and, you know, unless you change the one inch, it doesn't really matter what size you make. You can make this any, th any size you want. You know, so maybe there, maybe, maybe it's just the, the size of the squares are going to make the patterns different. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.